not been the occasion for today. What, what today, um, so Princeton, President Barnes commissioned a group of people to do an audit on Princeton Theological Seminary and his relationship with slavery. Wow. And so that was maybe like five years ago that he commissioned this body to do this work. They've since done the work and it was published at the beginning of the school year. So it's online if you want to read it. It's about, I don't remember how many pages it is. Maybe it's a couple hundred pages, but it's, it's online and it's a really easy read. And so in response to that audit, they've solicited um, suggestions on how to respond to Princeton's role in slavery. Um, and also invited different people to come lecture as part of a repentance, um, an acknowledgement of Princeton's role in the in slavery. So um, Reverend Forbes is one of our speakers that's been invited to preach and lecture in response to the slavery audit. Wow. So that's what he's doing tonight. His lecture is going to be tethered to whatever, I don't, I don't know how he's going to wrap it up, but it's going to be a <coughs> That's hot. So tell me who some of the other preachers that you call addressing that particular issue. Just commissioning the seminary to do something different, um, or just to be creative in how they uh, respond. As, as a matter of fact, right now, the um, black seminarians have a petition that's going around online. And they've outlined different things that they would like to see the seminary do. For instance, they'd like an endowment to be created to where the black church space program is fully funded. And we also get more black um, professors in here. And even something as bold as saying any um, black seminarian who comes through uh, Princeton Seminary, their education be fully funded. So wow. those are some of the things that they put in their petition of uh, ways that the seminary could respond as reparations. Yo, that was hot. Wasn't that powerful? I still needed to take out a loan for living, and I have a daughter. So it was, it was. If it were just me, it probably be different. But I'm, I'm a single parent, so they covered all my tuition. Um, all my tuition was paid. All my fees were paid. The housing was still. Yeah, I didn't say. Yeah, right. So a lot of students that have to live on campus. That's kind of other thing. The, the seminary has a great endowment to cover. You know. Do you know how big the endowment is? I don't. I don't know the actual numbers. I'm not that person. Okay. And done well. Yeah. Hey, uh, Doc. Uh, How are you? So now, guy, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I like him in the backdrop. That's so nice. Have, so we have Dr. Carrie Day and Dr. Lisa Burns in New Testament. De uh, Carrie Day is constructive theology or systematic theology. Lisa, Lisa Bowens is New Testament. Um, Ryan Rainey is Old Testament or Hebrew Bible. Um, of course, Cleo LaRue. Um, and we have he's doing homiletics. He's homiletics, still homiletics. Um, and Yvette Joy Harris, she's in our speech and communications program, but she's postdoc adjunct, I think. I think that's probably her official position. Do you have a Then I can and then there's Ape Adagame who is in religion and society. He's African. So there's I don't know that all the ones I've named I don't think that, I think Dr. Bowen is not in Dr. Rainey, but I'm not even sure that Dr. Rainey is going to change her track. But they are here, and they've both been here for a while. Yes, ma'am. And they, and 
they interviewed um, just this semester J. Paul Hines, who's African American, African Jamaican American. He's a PTS alum, but he's he lectured as part of his interview as a hair department. So he may be coming on.